what's up team for less this is again amy welcome back to my channel welcome to kick up my canal so today i'm here to make another black pepper oil as you guys know i just i like to make my own oil i buy my curry oil and then i use spices that i have at home to make my own hair grow oil and i've been seeing i've been seeing some really great results on the kids hair. i still have some black um pepper oil that i previously made that i'm still using um but i still have a lot but i just like to make another one to keep it down so that the oil and the black pepper can really take time to soak so by the time that the other oil is finished i will have a new one to drain so for today's oil i'm going to be using the jamaican black castor oil um i got this one from the kreitvat so if you live in the netherlands you want to buy oil you can check the kreitvat now kreitvat do sell some oil so this is the brand this is Jamaican black castor oil. It's 100% pure black castor oil. And this is my first time trying it. So I just want to open it and just smell it because I know what. Oh, yeah, I know it smells. It smells is there. So, yeah, this is the oil. And this is what it looks like. You can. Um, some of the ingredients here at the back. So you guys can see Jamaican black castor jamaican black castor oil and then you have other oils also these are the ingredient clips this is the ingredients can you guys see it so i got this oil from the christ but i think i got it for i can't remember the price but i think less than 10 euros or something like that so i have my black pepper I have my container where I normally put my black pepper when I'm about to mix it. I have my cup to measure. Um, I'm just going to show you guys how I mix it. You guys can make as much as you want or you can make as less as you want. So for video purpose, I'm just, this is one cup of, this is one cup. This is 250 ml. So this is a cup. So I'm just going to put the, I think this black pepper is not even a cup. So let's use the smaller one. This is 125 ml. So I'm going to put my black pepper in here just to show you guys. It's not even full. The cup is not that full, but this is what I have. Um, I still have to go to the store and buy some black pepper. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my black pepper into my blender and I'm going to blend everything. Now that everything Everything has blend super, super smoothly. As you guys can see, it is very, very smooth. Everything has blend smoothly. So now what I'm going to do is, I want to see how much it is now after blending it. So, this is what it looks like after blending everything. So now I'm going to take my container. I'm going to use everything. I'm just going to pour all of this. As you guys can see, that's a lot of pepper. That's a lot of black pepper. I can smell the, the spike like oh my nose so now that I have my black pepper I'm going to say you guys can see the oil is 250 ml and it's up to here so I'm going to see if I can just pour everything because Jamaican black castor oil is very very thick and it's very very good for 
your natural hair so i'm just going to pour the entire bottle yeah it's so so thick so this is going to last me for a long time i'm going to allow this one to soak for at least a month because i still have a lot of um i still have much i still have a lot of black pepper oil that i'm still using but i always like to make one and put it down so by the time i'm done with the one i'm having i will have a new oil to use so now i'm going to take my fork i'm just going to mix everything i want to drain the oil properly because jamaican black castor oil is very very thick just want to make sure i get everything i'm just going to be blending making things Ooh, you guys can see it is so so thick it's really really thick So, I use all the Jamaican black custard oil and now I'm just going to mix everything. You guys know Jamaican black custard oil is very, very thick. So, I'm going to add, I feel like I should add another oil to at least loosen it up a little bit. I still have the oil, um, Amla, Amla oil. I also, it's the same brand. I also pick it up from the Chrysler, so I'm going to add a little bit. At least I want to fold this. I want it to fold to here. So I'm going to add a little bit of oil because the Jamaican black castor oil is just too thick. Yeah, with the Am Amla oil, it's a bit... Yeah, the oil has like loosened up a bit. So now I'm just going to mix everything together the jamaican black castor and the amla oil with the black pepper that's a lot of um, black pepper oil that's a lot of black pepper but i really want to get like a really nice and good one for the hair um yeah so that's the reason why i like to add a lot of black pepper and the black pepper is not that really expensive you can get it from the food store it's very very um cheap you get i get you get a plastic like um example you get a plastic like this one for one euro 70 cents as you guys can see this is clothes seed i use clothes seed also to make oil and i also use it to make it um to make my mouthwash so you can get stuff like this for one euro seventy cents. So it's not like super super expensive, and you can just use any oil of yours. At least you know the ingredients that is going into your product. That's the reason why I like to make my own product, and this one will actually last me a while. So like now, I'm going to allow this one to kind of soak for at least a month this is going to soak for more than a month i'm just going to put it in the kitchen and just allow it to soak and then after i'm done with the other oil that i'm using i will drain this one and i will start using it i still have some cloak 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 sometimes i pronounce the name incorrectly this is uh the cloak oil that i make as you guys can see, I still leave it to just stand. Um, at once in a week, and every time I'm in the kitchen, my mind goes there. I just take it and I shake it like this. As you guys can see, the claw, I didn't make that much. Um, just a little bit because it's very, very good. A little bit go a long way, so I didn't make much. And the time I was making it, I didn't have a lot of claw oil or claw cloak. So that's the reason why I didn't make that too much that a lot of oil, but this one is perfect So I just shake it and this one has been sitting down now for like more than a month and A time will come one of these days. I'm going to drain it and I'm going to start using it. So now I'm just going to 
remove the spoon, remove the fork out, get all the excess oil out. I like to wipe around the container. So now I'm just going to close, make sure you close it very well. So now it's closed and what I do, never my mind goes there, I just give it a shake. That's the reason why I didn't make it to be, I didn't, it, the oil leading came all the way to the top so that I can have space to like shake it. So yeah, this is how you make your close seed with Jamaican black castor oil and black pepper, sorry. I said clove. This is how you make your clove oil. <laughs> I'm so I'm so confused right now. I'm talking about cloves and I'm talking about clove oil. But this is how you make your your black pepper oil with Jamaican and amla. So this is it. I hope you all like this video. If you guys do, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, on my Facebook like page. All the links will be down in the description box. Team Fullest, thank you guys so much. Peace out. Bye.